guys, it's Shop the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to give you an update on Miss Donut here, uh, and I wanted to show you how she's doing. So, Donut is now two weeks into her treatment for her pituitary gland tumor, and these, of course, are ultimately not something you're going to get rid of, but you can treat the inflammation caused by the tumor, uh, and sometimes also treat the tumor depending on the type. Uh, and then that can give you back quality time with the rat uh, so they can live, you know, a few more weeks or a few more months. So Donut is doing very well. She has no problems balancing and she is just completely back to her usual self. And I'm really just so happy to see her, you know, being back to normal and being agile and excited to do things again because seeing her unresponsive and just uninterested in everything was very, very strange and definitely kind of terrifying. Uh, so I'm just glad to see that she still has a little bit of time left with us uh, and that she's living her life to the fullest. And that kind of brings me to something that I wanted to discuss some in this video, which relates to some of the comments I got on the prior donut video. Uh, and that's some people were asking, you know, why are you choosing to pursue treatment when these tumors are ultimately fatal um, and the care is palliative? And a lot of these comments reference my rat latte. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Latte was one of my first few rats, and she was my first rat with a pituitary gland tumor. Unfortunately, at the time, I lacked a lot of knowledge about this condition and lacked a lot of knowledge about rat health in general. I was also going to a general vet, and while they did try really hard to you know, help figure out what was going on and treat Latte, uh, unfortunately, we did not do a great job of it. So, you know, Latte's situation was very much tragic. Um, it was just a bunch of circumstances that came together that did not end with her getting the best care and ultimately uh, I did wait too long to euthanize her. I did not, you know, really take into account the fact that she was going downhill. The problem with Latte was she had a very abnormal type of pituitary gland tumor. It took a long time for symptoms to come on. If you watch my video on Latte's pituitary gland tumor, it seems like symptoms are just popping up all the time, but that's because I just compiled all the video clips I took of new symptoms that popped up that I sent to my vet. Um, but in reality, these symptoms often would come and go or take days or you know even weeks or months to progress. And because of that, I was able to delude myself into thinking that she was you know getting better or that she was at least staying the same when in reality she was going downhill. Uh, and when I finally realized it, then I did end up taking her to be euthanized, but I really did wait too long. Um, but Donut's case is very different, and this is one thing that I think I really need to stress here, because the thing is, pituitary gland tumors in rats, it's well documented that there are treatments for them, which while they don't get rid of the tumor entirely, uh, they do give rats back quality life for, you know, weeks or months, and it's not a guarantee, but there's a good chance of getting back at least a few weeks with your rats. You know, high quality of life doesn't seem like anything's wrong. Um, and that's just exactly what you can get with these medications. You can get months back. And it's not a guarantee, but, you know, just the fact that in many cases you can get back weeks with just steroids alone, uh, and sometimes months if the prolactin antagonists like cabergoline or bromo work, uh, and if you have your rat put on them, well, to me that just makes it worth it, you know, even if you don't know for sure that these are going to work for your rats. To me, the chance of your rat having, you know, weeks or months back is worth it. And if a rat can live a quality life on these meds, you know, there's really no reason to cut it short early. And, you know, of course, if Donut starts to go downhill and meds don't help, uh, then at that point we will have her put to sleep and I won't be waiting as long as Latte. Um, I've had to have several rats euthanized since Latte and I've tried to never wait nearly as long. I've tried to always make sure that they're put to sleep as soon as they start going downhill. And you know, if necessary, I will have that done to Donut. Um, hopefully it's in the far future, but as long as she's acting fine and she's clearly living a quality life, then I don't see any reason to do it early. But yeah, Donut is doing really well and I will just continue to monitor her and give her her meds and all that stuff. And as long as her quality of life stays high, then there's really just no reason to do anything other than continue what we've been doing. Anyways, I'm not trying to call people out, but you know, I just don't want people to think that because Latte's video and Latte's life really just ended so tragically, uh, that means that all rats with pituitary gland tumors will have the same sort of fate, so to speak. Um, when, you know, even though in the end it is fatal, 
uh, we do know that there are certain medications that often can give the rat back quality of life for a significant period of time for such a short-lived animal. So yeah, I think it is worth trying treatments. I know that you know there are situations where that's impossible and treatments don't always help. And in those cases, yes, put to sleep is the best option. But in cases where the rat retains quality of life with medications, then I think it's just fine to continue giving the rat medications and continue giving them palliative care uh, so long as it keeps up their quality of life. And as soon as it starts to dip and they can no longer get help medication wise, uh, then at that point, that's when I would definitely consider euthanasia. But yeah, for now, Donut is doing just fine, and hopefully that is, again, in our far future. And yeah, I'm just feeling really good about her progress, and I am so glad to see her active and just enjoying life. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Donut and seeing how well she's doing, and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye!